Hey guys, I'm working to get you your tutorials. Um, I don't know why, but the web camera is constantly focusing on my hand, so I'm sorry. I don't know how to get it to focus just on the paper and ignore my hand, but I'll do my best. I appreciate your patience. Let's just do a couple quick examples. Let's say that I have this square root of 75. Again, we're just going to break this down into our factor tree. I can think of this as 3 times 25. Honestly, I think of this as money. I th I'm thinking 3 quarters. Now 25 is awesome. I want to pick, I want to break it down into things that are perfect squares. And a perfect square just means that it has the same side lengths, so 5 by 5. Now notice all my factors is 3, 5, 5. If I put that in my calculator, I'm just going to grab my phone. Not see it? We'll see. 3 times 5 times 5. See how that equals 75? Exactly what we want. So now I know if it's easier for you, you can think of it as inside 3 times 5 times 5. Now remember on your calculator, you can go to menu, number, factor. I'm working on using only the vocabulary. We're going to use these two because they're the exact same. Circle them in one box. Only one ever gets out. One from a group is what represents that group. So this 5 is going to come outside, and that 3 is stuck inside. You can always check with a calculator. If you put this in, the square root of 75, you're going to get a decimal. When you put this in, you should get the exact same decimal. Let's do a couple more easy ones. Actually, I'm going to pause for a second and just remind you of what squares are. So 1 times 1 would be 1. 2 times 2 would be 4. 3 times 3 would be 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 25, 36, 49. 7 times 7, 8 times 8 is 64. 9 times 9 is 81, 10 times 10 is 100, 121, and 144. We could obviously keep going forever, but these are the numbers you're trying to get to because these are perfect squares. So if you ever have those numbers, you just want to break it down so that it's exactly the same number. So for example, I could break down 12 in a couple of different ways. I could bring it down as 2 and 6, and that's not wrong, but it's not as helpful as if I broke it down as um, 3 and 4, because 4 is a perfect square. See, I can now take a 2 out, and I'm left with the 3 inside. We're really trying to see if I can pull a 1. Well, a 1's boring. That's not helpful at all. Any of these perfect squares, if I can pull a perfect square out, I'm going to try that every time. Let's do a couple more really easy ones, and then we'll move up to the ones with the variables that might be slightly intimidating to you. 32. So again, I could break this down in a couple of different ways. I'm going to pick 4 and 8. I picked 4 just because it's a perfect square. Also, this is a multiplication fact you should know. I'm going to pick 4 and 2. Notice that I now have two fours. Only one ever makes it out from any group, and that 2 is left inside. And I'm done. Let's do some harder ones with variables. Let's say that I have the square root of 28a squared. Well, again, I'm going to break down this 28. I'm going to break that down into 4 and 7. The 7 is prime, meaning only the numbers 1 and 7 multiply to it, so that's no help. I'm going to break down the 4. 2 and 2. Got a group. A 2 comes out. The 7 stuck inside. And I haven't used my a squared yet. I want you to really think about what a squared means. It means I have an a times an a. I have a group that's exactly the same. One dies, 
one comes out. So I have a 2a on the outside and a square root of 7 on the inside. I'm going to do two more of those. Let's say I have the square root of 128 x to the third. Well, that's not going to be too hard. I want you to grab your calculator and I want you um, I want you to use menu number factor. You're going to break this down and you should get um, 64 times 2, 8 times 8. So your calculator should give you 8 squared times 2 and you can't put the x cubed in. Remember you pressed a number and then factor. Num x cubed is not a number. That would be under algebra and it will not factor that for you. So we're just going to set that right there. I'm going to expand this. 8 squared is the same thing as 8 times 8. x cubed is the same thing as x three times. I've got a group of 8's, I've got a group of X's. So I'm going to have an 8X on the outside. I've got left on the inside a 2 and an X. And I'm done. If you want to know how to check this, I think we'll do that for our last step. If I want to know if this is right, I can go the other direction. To put this back inside, I multiply, well I raise this to the power. I raise this to a power of 2 because that's the 2 right there. It's a hidden 2. So if I want to put this back on the inside, I would have 8 twice. Make sure you put the dot. It's not at 88. It's times. I would have the x twice. I would have the 2 and the 2x. And if I multiply that out, I better get back to the 128x cubed where I did something wrong. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys tomorrow.